Hello guys, Mount Vernon Kira coming to you again with the final versus match with a twist for 2012. And uh, let's get right into the basically the results of last week's uh, versus match twist. Best voice character that Josh Keaton voiced. You guys chose it was Landslide. As you see right here, yeah, the Spider-Man himself. Good big ups. This time around... We have your 2012 wrap up uh, edition in a sense, and uh, it, it it involves a series that I love, and I'm going out of the woodwork on this one to use. Basically, I'm I usually I always say only one to twelve choices, but this time for the wrap up of 2012, I decided to go 19 in a sense because they're characters from this one of my favorite gaming franchises ever so you'll see the trend when it comes so let's kick off the first choice first off Caden Elenko I always liked Caden uh, he was a very good character very loyal to the full he was uh, pretty much a love interest for you if you were a female shepherd uh, he could die and things like that, but he was a good biotic as well. I did enjoy him. Next up, we have Ashley Williams, Miss Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. Once again, another potential love interest for you in the Mass Effect franchise. Uh, she was a very good character. A little jealous over time, you know, especially if you start messing with other girls. Uh, but she was a very loyal aspect to the team of your squad and uh i did like uh ashley as well i loved her look in three that's why i used her look now uh very much it's she just had a major facelift in that one next up we have liara tessoni oh yeah those those uh asari um liara when we we first meet liara she's like really young and innocent and then we saw her character just grow throughout the series she became the shadow broker she was another potential love interest whether you were male or female because her race can mesh with male and female because technically they're not female as as they like to say but uh liara was great hell of a biotic smart as hell you gotta love her next up we have is Garrus Macarian Turian to be exact Garrus at first I've heard a lot of people say man I hated Garrus he was such a whiner he's such a pussy and then when he came out in the second one he grew some balls as they like to say um, he went on to become this vigilante for a while known as uh, Archangel and of course he was another potential love interest for you from the second game until the third game and i know a lot of people found that kind of i know one of my friends found that really disgusting but uh garris was really cool i love garris he's, he's a great character nonetheless next up we have rex or not rex it's a shame rex is only part of your squad in the first game but rex was the big krogan that you didn't want to screw with you know he, you know anybody would talk to you see him in the first game they were like watch yourself rex we're gonna have to arrest you <laughs> i'd like to see you try you know things like that it, but rex became pretty much a focal point for his people he led his people later on in the games very well he took a very big stand for the krogan people and, and i thought that was a very good involvement of his character uh very much and seeing him in the third game still he still showcased just because he ain't he ain't fighting as much don't think he still can't kick some ass next up we go to Tali. Yes, oh Tali. Tali Vas whatever you want to use her last name. There are so many different names she used under 
Tali, once again, she was another young. We saw her grow from one to up to three. And Tali was another interesting character. I always did respect the Quarian people. Um, and Tali was, to me, she's one of their best. Bright, brilliant, and um, another possible love interest. Like, she came along and you didn't even know that she had those kind of feelings for you. It was really like, wow, she's... And I loved the progression of love between you and Shepard and her. And I love, as much as people dog the, the extended scenes of three, I loved her extended scene. That was, that, that made me cry. Just listening to her talk when she knew you were going to, Shepard was going to go off without her. That was brilliant to me. And I wish they did show her face in game and not just a picture of her, but still T tolly's a great character next up jack subject zero jack i'll be lying to you if i didn't find jack when i saw jack in the second game i was like i'm in love i love you i i love jack i love jack to death um jack was my favorite out of the characters out of two and when I knew that she was a possible love interest, I was like, sorry, um, Ashley, from one of the shepherds I had that was with Ashley, I'm, 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 I'm going with Jack. I'm sorry, because I really wanted to get to know Jack very well. And breaking down those walls of hers was really great to see, just showing case that she's, she's a woman, but she hides behind these, the, these rugged defenses, but she was just a badass biotic. You had to love her. Yes, she had a mouth like a sailor, but uh, she backed it up. She backed it up, definitely. Next up, Miranda Lawson. Ooh, yes. Know a lot of friends of mine that love Miranda. I do like Miranda, too. She kind of came off as, like, the really arrogant. She kind of reminded me of Emma Stone. Not Emma Stone, Emma Frost. I said Stone. Emma Frost did a bit, very arrogant, very brash, but likable, in my opinion. And, you know, everything was about, yeah, my genetics make me better and everything like that. But then we, she was another possible love interest. But Miranda was another character. You had to break down those walls to really get to know the real Miranda. And she was another character I, I liked seeing her growth as well throughout the games. Uh, but yeah, she's a very good character indeed. Uh, very much. Very protective of her sister, which I loved very much. Next up, we have Jacob Taylor. Uh, Jacob, the only... <laughs> I gotta say this, guys. but The only black character squad member. I thought that was funny. Um... Jacob was cool, you know, we, we found a lot about Jacob too, and, you know, that, you know, he, why he felt the way he did about the Alliance, and things like that, and why he joined Cerberus, but then later on, him going off to become a father, he was another possible limp, love, love interest, he got into a relationship later on in part three, and so, and he got, he was, his girlfriend was pregnant with his, with his child, and he said he was going to be a better father than his father was, which was really sad to see how his father was, you know. Um, but Jacob was still a cool character, nonetheless. Uh, very much straight to the book, you know, always saluting you and things like that, you know. But he was he was a good character. Next up, we go with Samara. Samara, the new Asari teammate to you in Mass Effect 2. Kinda, you can say she replaced Liara in a sense uh, before the the Shadow Broker DLC. Samara was the Justicard of the Asari Nation, and Justicards are like shown as folk heroes. She was badass. Like she would, she did not resort. She was not afraid to resort to killing if need be. Um, she had these alluring eyes too. When she looked at you, it was like almost she was looking into you. And that was something that always cool about Samara, as well as, you know, 
what happened to her with her you know uh, her uh, her daughters and things like that and how her daughters were and you know but she was still a great character nonetheless next up we have is grunt grunt became like the replacement for um rex and he was pure krogan you know he was genetically engineered krogan the best of the best of a krogan warrior and he he I, there's it's arguable if he was better than rex but uh grunt was another character that really his growth was really personified really well in my opinion um and, and i loved grunt very much next up we have is thane creos i mean yeah uh thane creos of course the assassin badass character this is my friend sly cooper's favorite character i, I thought thane was great and he lived by a code that i respected he, you know he, he prayed to the wicked he prayed for himself very religious character even though he was an assassin but all around good and of course i hated seeing him die in the, the last in the last game next up we have zaid Zaid, <laughs> great <laughs> character as well. Uh, very, got a lot of history in him as well. You know, man got shot in the head and survived. That's all I need to say. That's all I need to say. Next up we go is Katsumi Goto. I love Katsumi. Uh, I loved her. She was a character I wish you could have a, uh, she was a possible love interest for, even for a DLC character. I wish you could start something with her. She had a thing for Jacob, though, but I wish she had a thing for Shepard. Uh, she was great. I loved her, like, when she, you know, go stealth, cam stealth camo and be like, now you see me, now you don't. And she'll knock the person out and go, ha-ha. You know, I loved it. She was great. Next up, we got Legion. Yeah, a Geth that actually was good proven that the gifts were not the bad guys uh legion was great my favorite scene what's your name geth what should i call you we are geth what is the individual in front of me called there is no individual in front of you <laughs> and of course Edie gave him his name legion uh but it was good character nonetheless next up Morden Sullis. The only, the finally, we got a uh, Solarian on your squad, and Morden was just uh, like, like a uh, Yeoman Chamber said, a hamster on coffee. This guy was a mortar mouth. <sighs> Gotta be good. Job. <sighs> you know, but I love how, um, I loved how, uh, uh, I'm forgetting her name, uh, said it. He's, he's luckily to heal you and to kill you as well. And he lived up to that very much. Yeah. And it was sad to see him die, too. Next up, James Vegas. Vega, excuse me. James Vega. Uh, James was a, another straightforward character that kind of took the place of um, Jacob, in my opinion. Um, voiced by Freddie Prince Jr. He was a Latino character. Uh, very bulk bulk. Uh, buffed up character but still a good character nonetheless um, and I think there's an animated movie out about him that takes place before the events of uh, Mass Effect 3 that kind of gives a little bit more broaden of his character I gotta check it out but he was a good character nonetheless I put Edie here Edie yes finally Edie became really an official member of the squad when she took over the body of the android when you face first play in Mass Effect 3. Um, Edie was a good character, and of course, uh, Trisha Heffer voiced her. It was very good, as well as, you know, her and Joker was just really good together. And next, and last but not least, Javik. Finally, we got a Prothean character, and a lot of people didn't like Javik. He kind of came off as a dick and things like that, but you can understand why. But he's still a good character nonetheless. 
So, guys, you vote now on who you feel is the best Mass Effect squad member. And the other characters, in one word, tell me what you think of, in a few words or less, what you thought of the other members. And I'll see you guys later. Happy New Year. Take care.